Lord of the Rings actor slams the Rings of Power for being a money-making and not a real thing. Now, this is interesting. Ultimately, he is 100% correct. This show does not exist to be its own thing. It does not exist to be something creative or anything. It exists to milk a franchise. It exists to be a financial decision by studio Amazon that actually have made some really good stuff. The Chris Pratt thing was brilliant. Yet this is the polar opposite. A billion dollar TV show with barely the most famous person in it was Lenny Henry. And I don't think anyone in the US will know who Lenny Henry is. They don't really have the rights to the Second Age in any way, shape, or form. They have the rights to the appendices of the Lord of the Rings. They don't have the rights to the Salmarillion. They don't have the rights to anything outside of in the Legendarium, contrary to what they said at the beginning. It's funny how those articles disappeared. The thing, the difference between Peter Jackson movies and Amazon is that Peter Jackson did it. It was a risk. He adapted the material and he kept the material and the message of the material true to the works and the writer that created them. They made a distinct effort to strip out their personal feelings, their personal politics, and many other things. Are they perfect movies? No. Are they close to perfect? Yes. There is no such thing as a perfect adaptation, and there is no such thing as a perfect movie. There's no such thing as a perfect book or a perfect video game. You can, I mean, that's a whole discussion in itself. They created something with the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and as the actor himself said, it was a once thing. And he did stretch it a bit with the Hobbit movies, although since the Rings of Power, I do have a... Um, my opinion of the Hobbit movies has improved. At least they're cohesive. <laughs> but I made a video on the Hobbit movies, and what I want to say about them is go watch that video, because I talk about what could have been the Guillermo del Toro thing, studio interference, there's like a whole list of stuff that went wrong behind the scenes, and how the studio treated Peter Jackson. Now, on the other side of it, The Rings of Power does not exist to be a Tolkien adaptation. It exists purely as content on a streaming service. It's like making content on this YouTube video. It can't exist and be its own thing, because the people they bought in, the writers, the showrunners, have no clue. And the showrunners have 10 years of failure, and also the inclusion of the fact that Bad Robot is involved in this is worrying. Like, Bad Robot is the franchise killer, and Abrams is one of those people that is also... He has no ability to finish his work. We saw it with Star Wars. We've seen it with uh, the Kelvin universe. He has no ability to actually finish his work. A lot of modern shows now purely exist to be content. A lot of modern shows purely exist to fill a gap. And the thing with Rings of Power is that it was a soulless cash grab. It was this homogenized product in which... And obviously, and I will say this, their version of Galadriel, Galadriel, is obviously a self-insert for one of the people involved in the show. And it screams that they are... The link to that is very obvious. The thing with modern television and modern films is that mostly they have no ability to create anything new. They have no ability to create something original. They take something, rip it apart, insert their own identity, their own politics, modernity into a property that doesn't really need it, and then complain that it doesn't get viewership or it flops at the box office. Ghostbusters 2016 is prime example of that. That was a horrible movie that completely misunderstood Ghostbusters, but it purely existed for the sake of feminism. And we keep seeing this pattern rinse and repeat itself. In adapting The Second Age, and I will say, a book to screen is a tremendous task. Some things that will take five pages on a book to tell will take 30 seconds on the screen, and adaptation exists, and Peter Jackson's prime example of that. On the other side of it, this is not an adaptation. This is we took the bare bones of the story, character names, place names, some minor event, especially at the end, and then wrote their original story around it. 
There are characters alive in this show at the same time that would never have met and separated by thousands of years. Galadriel never went to some of these places. She was never a warrior, and anyone who doesn't, who tells me, well, she always has been a warrior, you've obviously not read the Salmarillion or anything outside of the works of anything, really. There's a whole list. Rings of Power exists purely as a cash grab. There is no merchandising other than water bottles and Kit Kats. There is no, there is no big push, and the weaponizing of criticism of this show is shameless at best. And we see that as well. If you don't like this show and dare criticize it, you are labeled an ist and a phobe immediately. The Rings of Power is a bastardization of a great epic works that Amazon don't really have the rights to, and it's also a shameless cash-in. And Amazon's desperation to make this a cultural phenomenon that Game of Thrones was is the desperation coming from people right now is fascinating. The shills on Twitter, who literally their entire liking of the show comes down to who they want to see fuck, is tragic. If that's the only reason you're watching a show because you're getting off to it, that is a major problem and that's your problem and therapy might be the answer. At the end of the day, the adaptations of Tolkien should have ended with the Rings trilogy. Because I don't think you can replicate that. And Amazon have desperately tried to replicate the Fellowship of the Ring with the, with the Rings of Power. And we've seen that in story beats and characterization. They've broken the continuity and they've put Galadriel at the forefront. Creation of Mount Doom? The whole... Um, the creation of the Elven Rings, she was not involved in that. The the weird will-they-won't-they, I-want-to-screw-you dynamic between her and Sauron is also completely not accurate in any way, shape, or form. She's been married for centuries. This Galadriel being portrayed this way in the Second Age is not Galadriel. She is a self-insert for one of the writing team. And it very much shows especially when you see pictures. It, it's kind of... It's a tragic tale of how not to adapt work and just let's milk something for money. We've seen it with Star Wars, and that's the thing. No one cares about Star Wars or Trek anymore because they're dead franchises. There's no... No one cares. As much as the media and these paid companies keep talking about them, no one cares. And ultimately, that's the fate for this. You have the House of the Dragon, which was beautifully adapted, with great acting, great characterization, great world building, despite that stupid carriage, which still sticks out like a sore thumb. And then you go into the fact that that's been a huge success. It's just hilarious that Martin, of all people, is his show is outperforming Tolkien's. I knew this would happen the second Christopher Tolkien died and the second Tom Shippey was fired. The fact that they got rid of anyone that disagreed with them really tells you everything you need to know. Rings of Power exists purely to make money. There is nothing artistic, there is nothing creative behind this. This show is a mess and this actor is 100% right on it. it. It's not a real thing, it's content. It's a short on TikTok. It's content to amuse you, look pretty, and go away. Ten years' time, twenty years' time, no one's going to be talking about the Rings of Power, it, but people will still be talking about the Peter Jackson movies, for very obvious reasons. And it's sad that we've come to this. And no matter what the toxic shills on Twitter, there's one who is hilarious that needs to be reported and banned because he's a disgusting human being. Not only him, but... The fact that I now know who that guy is, and I won't say because that would be doxing, has just changed everything, and it's funny. But we've seen this. We see the same playbook over and over again. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Like, subscribe, do all the usual stuff. All of my links are there. And I will talk to you guys later.